That'll be our data, Edge. Is that your top tip of the day? No, do it however you want, but this is how you'll get the best results. This is my newest toy. Flex machine. Not bad. Cheers, 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 cheers. cheers. Coming together nicely, huh? <laughs> Bit miserable today, isn't it, Watson? It is. Hey, Mark. Right, just laying out a little bit of the furniture that we need to fit. So we could have fitted that, we could have mounted that on the surface, but I think, again, with all these being let in, I think that's going to look quite nice. So I just need to... You are so rude. You've got to say hello to your audience. Don't just dive into hey, no, stuff. Hey, no, this is going to be one film, so I've already like, no, said hello. No, it isn't. Hello. It might not be. It, it, it. No. Oh, okay then. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> hey. Welcome along. What is it now? Day five on the door project. Oh, four. four, but I've done the additional day making all the kind of iron work that we haven't shown. We've already shown you how to make butterfly ties and rivets, so we're not going to kind of like, you know, fill this film up with the same thing. I wouldn't want our kind of films to kind of be coming across like they're all the same stuff. So, you know. Hello. <laughs> was that beautiful? Uh, it was um, a bit weird, but... Uh, yeah, I just felt like doing it, you know what I mean? I just felt it. So, what's this here? Sorry? This is a sliding bolt, so clients asked for a sliding bolt on there. That's where it's going to be. I know this because when we were there we discussed it and I've taken measurements, so that's well out of the way of the lock. Uh, we've got our window that we're going to let in here. We might get to that today. We're also going to get our primary flame finish on here today. That'll probably be... Actually, after we let this in, we're going to flame all this. Then we're going to set our butterflies, our roves and our rivets, um, get all those closed off. And then at that point, you know, you never know today. I'm not even entirely sure I've got the finish here, but we're doing exactly the same finish that we did on the Maritime Lamp project. But yeah, there's a lot to do today, a lot to see. Mark's only brought two cards for data, which is a boo. Um, we're going to be doing the hand riveting, which I'm really excited about. In fact, I, can't, I, can't lie, I really want to get to that point. So, but look, come on, let's do what we've got to do. Let's get this chopped in and go from there. Freehand routing! The way of the chief. Yeah, let's just do it. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, let's just double check. Bam, 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 bam. Oh no, it's gonna need a bit more than that. Oh no, oh no. Peter Griffin's got a moustache. No way! Way! Oh. oh no! Lock that off. Let's route. <laughs>
No, nope, just the final little trim with the old. Uh, cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. Cheersy, cheers, cheers. Cheersy, cheers, cheers. I uh, sharpened these bad, badulant boys last night. Did you? Yep. I took them home and. Sharpy, sharpy, bang, bang. You're such a doer. Yeah. I think some ladies find that attractive. The wrong type of ladies. Or the right type of ladies. No, proper ladies. Oh, wow. Oh, proper ladies. Yeah. I just need to pull out the uh, curve chisel. Just tidy that up. I think we're just about there, but what we are going to do is I'm just going to tickle it with the uh, router. You made this? Yeah, I made this. No. Oh, this? The bolt. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't we haven't uh, shown how we've made those yet, but did make it. So is that going to have to be a future film? Well, probably, yeah. Uh, the thing is, is once you've got the butterfly ties on these doors, you can't fit a modern sliding bolt. The weight of this door requires something that looks more like that, I think. I think that's far more in keeping. So yeah, essentially what this is, is this is totally recycled. Half inch bar, these are chain links that are cut in half and then welded from the back, flattened off. Uh, that's a piece of, if I'm not mistaken, 50 mil bar by five mil. Um, and then you just kind of, you know, you drill, let these in, weld them from behind. But um, they do look good, don't they? They, they look, look amazing. Well, they look in keeping with the project. We're so close now. In fact, it's kind of popping in. I mean, it's nothing. It's that corner, actually. Oh, sweet, sweet carrot. A little takeoff there as well. Beautiful. Gently, gently let it out. Oh, let me see it in then. Okay, just a sec. Got back in your back. Where are the other butterfly ties? I've secretly put them and hidden them from Sweet myself. Sweet Caroline. Is it stuck in? Well, I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> sometimes a little bit of indirect bangy bangy sometimes helps. Ah, there you go. Perfect. You've seen it before, most of our, most people. Epoxied and tamar textured copper rivets. It's going to look really cool, isn't it? They want what essentially is going to be called a rust finish. So this is going to be left um, as is, um, and then it's going to be uh, essentially lacquered over the top and then basically allowed to rust in its own time. We could speed that process up by using one of our rust finishes or one of our blue finishes but we're not going to. We're going to leave it in its wired state and then with a coat of lacquer over it. Um, Is that the same for the butterflies? Exactly the same for the butterflies. So you're not blacking it? Don't, no, we'll probably back black the... Rivets. The rivets, the back of the rivets to the rove because they'll be kind of a more polished finish and a different finish. So we'll just try and match that in if we can. But that is, so that's not quite next. Next is to flame this. Edges. Edges.
trying to create when we kind of like we go a little bit heavy in these bits that we've let in is steel and oak when the two come together if they sit together for any length of time the steel kind of oxidizes and bleeds into the oak so we're kind of trying to generate that kind of look I mean I've done it before where we've riveted and we've made a template to create a long black streak above and below any iron fittings that we fitted um, and it looks really good um, interesting little point to make now is that um, we did have some comments from somebody, I think it was on Reddit, and he said, oh, I hate to see oak being burnt as a finish. The thing is, is, I mean, in this instance, I think we'd like to play with more kind of like, I'm not a big, I'm not somebody who uses, um, what would you call it, stains and things like that to a big degree, because people tend to, you know, people have a very narrow band of how they like oak finished in this country, but this is a very expensive finish. You know, if, if you go to high-end kind of like fine joinery shops and they do a flame finish, it is considered a very high-end finish in this country. So um, maybe that's a disparity between, you know, us and America, but uh, just an interesting point to make. People in England love this flamed look. And this client in particular has actually asked specifically for this look, um, actually because they saw the Maritime Land Project. So yeah, so who are we to not do it? You're Al Watson. I'm Al Watson. I'm on YouTube. Out. Flip it over. Flip it over, flame the other side. We'll see um, you in a couple of minutes. Yeah, and then we're going to get the uh, riv rivs in on the other side, but we'll probably have to film that. Look, don't look at me. Uh, we'll join you when we've got the rivets uh, and butterflies on the front of the door. So we'll join you for a little bit of clinkering. Ooh, powerful. Mm. <laughs> McDonald's burpees. You make me a documentary, eh? <laughs> uh, it's YouTube, actually. Oh, look. Yeah. It's real life. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. So this is the uh, front of the door. Yeah, so these are basically our rivets. They've been cut to length. So what we did is we had a bit of a discussion the other day about how much we were going to leave. What we've done is I've left about nine mil. So these all stand proud by about nine mil on the other side, and that will become apparent when we turn it over. So basically, this is a bit I've been looking forward to. Uh, let's um, let's flip this over and let's get riveting. How are they going to stay in when we flip exactly? It over? So what we're going to do is tape them. Uh, no, no, we are not. We're going to. Blue tack. No. Mark, these are silly ideas. F uh, what we... What's your idea then? Come on. Uh, Come on. Uh, Come on. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, let's have a look down here. I bet we've got some plywood. Uh, I think. Oh, what happened there? I moved it so I could see him. We had a bit of a discussion and we kind of thought that maybe one thing that we did yesterday when we were closing that rivet uh, by the traditional method cold forging it. We kind of felt maybe we were being a bit over aggressive with our hammer hits. Um, and actually we might be able to get away with without being quite as aggressive. Which sounds a bit weird. One. 
I marked these up additionally there. You can just see that little mark so I know which way those went on. Coming together nicely, huh? Yeah, hopefully today this, this will be quite a bit to see. I think this was the one that might just need a bit of quantitative easing. Okay, they're in. So we've got one out of our five that's just a bit stubborn. And that will do. Switch start. Glad we didn't leave any more than that 10 mil. hard work in it it's a lot of hammering that for those but I mean it did say like a hundred hits didn't it in that video we saw the clinking can start approximately 100 hammer strokes are needed on each nail that little wobble on it so I like, think it needs a bit more I think we'll go for these but I think what we are gonna do is uh, spin it round just because it'll, it's like reaching over and hammering is more likely to miss strike. So I think, what, I mean, those feel great and they look f***ing great, don't they? So, yeah, fantastic. Six of 16, 10 more to do. I think we've been too, we haven't been hard, we've, we should be hitting them harder. Because that one went in really quickly, didn't it? I suppose this is why, you know, people do modern days weld on the back, because that is hard work. And I mean, we've done six now, and there's 16 to do in total. Um, you've got concerns about damaging the door, you know, miss hitting this and landing on the oak, which we have done, but thankfully, you know, if this was pine, that would be fucking ruined. But then you'd never do it with pine anyway, I would suggest. Um, I would suggest you only ever try to do this with hardwoods. But, I mean, the finish we've got, absolutely brilliant. Exactly what we're after, isn't it? Looks bloody amazing. Looks like what it's meant to, which is a two or three hundred year old door. That industrial kind of reclamation that people are going crazy for at the moment. And here we are doing it in a modern context. And it just looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so what time is it, Al? Uh, time to keep on riveting. It's hammer time. Oh, it's hammer time. Oh. oh. Al, what time is it? It's hammer time. Yeah, for ages and it hurts. <laughs> Close this rivet, half inch rivet, by hand. Cold uh, forged. 
Forge, yeah, hand forged rivet. We're going to close it by hand onto the rove. Uh, give ourselves a minute. Okay. And we'd like to texture it in that. We'd like to peen over the finish as well. Okay. So, yay. And one, two, go! Bit of texture. Okay. Oh wow. That is you done. Not easy. You did it. Yeah. New world record. Cool. Wow, right. Fucking exhausted. Ah, that's worse than making the rivets. <laughs> Close rivets by Alistair Jane Watson. Well, they've got lovely dolls there, haven't they, kids? Fucking lovely. <laughs> Okay, boss, boss man foo to the foo man shoe. So, well, that was a bloody job and a half, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so they're in, they're hand closed. They look good. It's good. It's good. Uh, we started and I was being very, you know, little taps and I thought well the little taps will stop them splitting out because it'll little movement actually you need to bray the hell out of them we had a big heavy steel weight behind them did you did you get that mm. so basically it's not like we were just wailing onto a piece of MDF because all you'd end up do is driving the head of the rivet on the other side into whatever's below it well I think that's I mean it's we're not the first people to do it on YouTube but I think we're the first people to do it kind of in this format and actually the, the only video we could find online was essentially um, that dragon hair Viking boat. Um, as to riveting for a door together like this, well, bang, maybe that's a YouTube first. So, yay! You're dedication. welcome, YouTube. Yeah, you're welcome, YouTube. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, just something different. You know, you've seen us do this before, but you've never seen us quite do that. So, door's coming on really well. Uh, I need a break, so let's get a coffee. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey, hey. Love that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You make the coffee because you haven't done anything this morning. You're going to have to come in with me. Okay. <laughs>